It's time to make a dessert with a difference that smells amazing. Nicole's back in the kitchen. Clover Crush, 100% pure fruit juice packed with vitamins and no added sugar. Crush your daily goodness. Now also available in Long Life. Made with love by Clover. So here's the thing, not all great puddings are baked in an oven. We've got the perfect stovetop treat for you to enjoy on those chilly winter evenings. It's all about comfort food at the moment, our crush dumpling pudding. How cool does that sound? Dumpling pudding, it's a recipe packed with a vitamin punch as well, which is great. It's a hint of spices, a little touch of sweetness, just enough to satisfy a sweet tooth craving. And thanks to Crush Carrot and Orange, getting your daily goodness has now become that much easier, and we're gonna do it in spades this morning. Nicole, this is really cool. I saw you kind of, you kind of faffing around Siddling, a little earlier, and I yeah. thought you were making a savory dish, and then I, I saw the Clover Crush come out, and then the dumplings, and this one's like, what are you yeah. making? What are you making? I am a big dumpling fan, but I always think of them in a savory context. I'm, I've never really thought about a stovetop dessert before like this. This is a very, I also thought it was very interesting, but you know, like dumplings can be sweet or savory. Mm. We're very used to the ones that we have on top of our curries or in our stews yeah, in a pot. Of course. Um, or even just like a steamed dumpling bread, or, or you get dumpling that's more like the Asian dumpling. Yeah, yeah. So this is very, very cool. Bread, yeah. So I've got some butter and apricot jam. You could use orange marmalade as well, or if you even want to do like a little lemon marmalade, you can even add that in there. So we're just letting that melt, and while that melts, I'm going to add some water to our pot of beer. It's going to make a bit of a sizzle over there. Okay. And then I'm going to add about two cups of our Clover Crush orange and carrot. And this is going to be your poaching liquid, basically, oh, that you're going to make your dumpling okay. in. Yeah, a little bit of sugar. And then I've actually segmented, you serve it with segments of uh, grapefruit and orange. So I thought instead of throwing away your peels, throw them in your poaching liquid. Oh, as completely well, just, just to intensify add that citrus, yeah. Exactly. I mean, no, nothing goes to waste. And then we've got our beautiful spices. We've got a whole cinnamon stick and a star anise. It's, of okay. course, optional. No, not everyone's a fan of star anise. Okay. I think the, the, the spiciness will complement those citrus flavors so beautifully. Exactly. So once our syrup's on the go, that this is when you make the dumpling part. So we've got our jam and butter in here, like I said. Then you're going to add a half a cup of milk to that. Okay. And then you're just going to let that, let that heat through. Then before you add, we've got a bit of bicarb over here, which is going to make it fizz up. Okay. I'm going to let that heat through. I'm going to add salt and one and a half cups of flour. Okay. And then some ground cinnamon. Put that Ooh, all let that in. permeate right the way through. Mm. Yep, so this is all going to see very spicy, warm, wintry flavors mm. going on here. So now you want to add your liquid to your dry ingredients. So you'll see it's going to fizz up beautifully. It's quite, it's like a science experiment. So I was going to say, you're a mad scientist. That's amazing. <laughs> um, it is like so a mad cool. scientist. So then you just throw that all in. You want to get every last drop in there. And this is going to be like almost like a almost like a thick pancake batter that you're okay. going for. And, and not too hot, I'm assuming, the mixture. No, it doesn't Go matter. You know, yeah. it's, it all comes together beautifully. Um, I You use a whisk. I tried to use a spoon this morning and it was quite just a difficult work. one, yeah. yeah. So use a whisk. Just be careful. Don't get any of the hot liquid on you. So if you are making this with the kids, make sure that you're you handle watching that part of the them process, and you're handling yeah. exactly. So as you can see, it came together beautifully. Mm. And it's as simple as now taking a spoon, which I'm going to do now, making your beautiful dumpling shapes and poaching them in that beautiful crush liquid that I've got going over here and cooking it until they rise to the surface, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Yeah. It's so clever. So we just served it with some beautiful orange orange slices and grapefruit slices, it's of course. And I think it's, it's quite nice, because obviously you want it to be sweet, but I think that where the citrus kind of cuts through that sweetness, it, it balances it out just a little bit. Exactly. Um, but you've got, you want kind of a syrupiness there, because I think the dumpling and the syrup kind of yeah. mix will be absolutely spectacular. But um, I love that, the, the little injection of spice mm -hmm. and, and citrus throughout, but just to kind of offset that. Yeah, well, what you can do, Graham, is that this beautiful syrup mixture here, 
you cook it down once it's the dumplings are out and you can pour it over so extra extra, extra sweetness yeah. yeah do it do it i'm gonna say do it you'd be crazy if you didn't <laughs> um you can find this entire recipe on expressoshow.com um you can find a ton of culinary uh, delights there in fact we've got a, a host of recipes and other lifestyle information, but uh, really, really good source. And I, I, the funny thing is my mom and I have started, like one of the ways we've been communicating through lockdown is through like food packages and cooking things and yeah. baking stuff. And my mom's whipped out like 30 year old recipes that she's gotten from her great aunt. And oh you know, it's God. just been like that. But she's but those been, are the best, oh, com share Completely, some. completely. But she's been um, tackling a lot of them, both her and I were, were super inspired. I still haven't done it with the um, carrot cake recipe that you made. Okay. Oh, Did you guys try it? Amazing. Amazing. So as you can see, it cooks very quickly. You don't want them to overcook, otherwise they will just become one big So literally, once they float dumpling. to the top, you know they're, they're ready to rock. They're good. And that's it, Graham. That's all oh. it is. Beautiful, beautiful dumplings over here. I actually want you to taste the new ones that I've just made for you over there. Oh Tasty. man, that looks spectacular. And then I really like the idea of kind of reducing down those juices that are left over to create a syrup to put on it. Mm -hmm. um, and then you garnish with, we've got um, some beautiful orange and, and grape. grapefruit slices. Yeah. yeah, and I think that uh, the bitterness and the, the sourness of the citrus to offset the sweetness of the dumpling. But that is amazing. Well, this is the first time I've ever seen dumplings, dumplings being made in a, in a dessert way. and certainly on a stovetop. Um, dessert like this absolutely amazing so you can get that recipe expressoshow.com go and treat yourself to a winter warmer today this is the ideal comfort food and really quick and simple to make clover crush 100 pure fruit juice packed with vitamins and no added sugar crush your daily goodness now also available in long life we were loved by clover